Hey guys, I'm Dmitry with Hero Canucks, and today we're going to take a look at NVIDIA Shadowplay, a software that allows you to record gameplay at 1080p at 60fps without affecting your frame rate. Now, Shadowplay is available through the GeForce Experience and only supported on desktop Kepler based GPUs, so GTX 650 or higher, that feature that H.264 encoder that allows that seamless video stream. That is also the exact same reason how the Shield is able to stream games at 60fps thanks to that built-in encoder. Unfortunately though, notebook GPUs are not supported for Shadowplay. Now compared to other recording software, Shadowplay is available for free through the GeForce experience and allows both local recording and Twitch streaming, although Twitch streaming has not yet been added. But it's also limited to your NVIDIA GPU. Fraps on the other hand is a very popular and a common recording software, although it doesn't stream to Twitch. It is free but requires payment for the premium features and it will work regardless of your GPU. Opening up Shadowplay through the GeForce experience and we are presented with this very simple interface allowing you to turn it on and off, open the folder with all your recordings and of course set your hotkeys for recording. And we have three modes available, usual manual mode for unlimited recording in Windows 8 or up to 3.8 gigabytes in Windows 7 and the shadow mode that is very useful to capture only some of your best modes moments of gameplay. So you set your shadow time or the amount of minutes and it will record that last set of minutes of your gameplay. This is awesome for not having to record everything and later cut down on your best moments but allows you to play the game now and record up to 20 minutes of your last gameplay on Windows 8 and up to 10 minutes with Windows 7. And I think this is a very unique aspect of Shadowplay that makes this a more superior capture tool. And we can also adjust the quality of the recording from 1.8 megabytes per second to 6.25 megabytes per second, which means that even at high quality, you're not capping your write speed of like your conventional 7200 RPM drive. So the two major disadvantages of other capture tools have been basically addressed by utilizing the built-in encoder to have minimal effect on your frame rate and even at 1080p with high quality recording, the write speeds are under control. The audio option is very limiting at this time, you can only record in-game audio or none but cannot record yourself. Of course, there are other methods of capturing local audio, but it would have been nice and convenient to do it all within Shadowplay. So finally, let's jump into a game, capture some awesome footage and see how it handles. We get a recording indicator that helps to know whether you're recording or saving a footage. Now, notice there are no options to change the resolution. And I myself am gaming on a 16x10 monitor with effective resolution of 1920x1200. This means that my output image will be squished to 16x9 aspect. And that's kind of a big limitation as my footage will look squished and unnatural. Now we're also recording at 60 FPS and have no control over that. So if your in-game frame rate drops below 60, we do get a bit of a choppy recording. Now finally, I decided to test to see how much strain Shadowplay had on my performance and I used Fraps to benchmark my frames to see if there was any difference. And so I ran a 1 minute benchmark 3 times, both with Shadowplay on and off. And looking at the results, it is very impressive to see such a minimal performance strain. With all three games, my delta was uh, around 2 frames, which really isn't significant. And Nvidia claims there is less than 10% performance impact on your frame rate, and throughout my testing my highest was a 4.5% performance strain in Metro, which is still very impressive. Also, one of the best things about Shadowplay are small file sizes. Uh, compared to Bandicam or Fraps, these are 1 minute files at 60 frames a second. And as you can see, you save yourself a significant amount of drive storage. Also, let's take a look at detail comparison between the three levels of quality that the Shadowplay offers. So if you really are conservative on file sizes, going with low quality will still deliver pretty decent results, although it isn't as sharp and loses detail in motion. So Shadowplay for Kepler based GPU users who want to record gameplay is an excellent option that allows up to 20 minutes of last gameplay to be recorded, so you never lose your must be seen footage. You also have unlimited recording with Windows 8 at 1080p at 60fps, without putting too much strain on your hard drive with the maximum 50 megabits per second writes, and most importantly not affecting your in-game frame rate, that is crucial for competitive matches and just a more seamless capture. 
uh, and plus Twitch streaming is soon to be available. Now, while the software is still in beta, we cannot capture user audio, we cannot change the resolution or the frame rate of your recording. So these are just few limitations that will hopefully be addressed in the future. But Shadowplay turns out to be a very well suited capture tool that is bound to get better and we're giving it the Hardware Canucks damn good award. So as always, thanks for watching, subscribe for more similar content, and we'll see you in the next one.